Hey folks, GPTK 2.0 has been released, and in true Apple fashion, they have not released any patch notes, so I figured I'd come out of retirement and or boredom to show you how to use Whiskey. You simply update it by launching it, and in the patch notes, the creator actually showcases that he's um, not wanting to update anymore, but essentially, once you do this and update it, it will install Whiskey Wine, and you will have the latest version of GPTK, which is 2.0, which just came out of beta. Then you're free to play your Windows games by simply launching Steam. Now, from what I found, there is an issue, uh, but we'll get into that. So yeah, if you guys aren't on his Discord, you could check out his notes. He simply lists here that he... Basically doesn't want to give any more updates. Um, he'll maintain it a little bit, but don't expect to see the latest wine. And he actually recommends you use crossovers, which I believe is about $74. Um, so the rest of this video is going to be talking about kind of what the changes are in the latest state of Mac gaming. Um, <clears throat> in my opinion, a lot of issues. There's an issue with Steam and Whiskey where you have to kind of reinstall Steam and then prevent it from updating by running these command configs kind of annoying and also you uh don't you can't use an external monitor so i'm just kind of showcasing that you know mac gaming is still in its infancy to play window games um so yeah kind of annoying now, i did want to showcase some tests here and just wanted to show my setup a little bit so i have an hdmi going to a cam link 4k unfortunately it only records at 30 fps i later changed to the typical um quick time but I'm recording on a Windows laptop to get the gameplay footage, and I only showcase this for Cyberpunk, which you'll be seeing now. So, of course, from my amateur YouTube and basic testings, I just simply run the Cyberpunk benchmark and showcase some of the FPS, which here is about 40 FPS, and this is an M1 Max machine, so, um, you know, to be honest, from a YouTube perspective, I kind of got bored buying the newest ones and showcasing it and I ended up getting a refurbished one from Micro Center. Um, this served my purpose, I don't game too much um, on, on Mac anyways and I have a Windows device and I've been pretty much working from home. Um, but yeah, you can see here that actually on the iPhone the frame rate looks better um, because the cam link only outputs 30 FPS on Mac for some reason. Um, so just another thing that kind of some Mac config issues with gaming peripherals or gaming in general. Um, I couldn't figure out how to get 60 FPS output from the HDMI cable. Um, but if you are just simply running this, uh, expect 40 to 50 frames. And actually on my M3 Pro when I re uh, did this, um, it was 60 frames. So something to keep in mind. Now... If you guys follow a popular YouTuber, probably the main guy in the space, Andrew Sai, he actually ran this test on the M4 Pro. I'm not exactly sure what his configuration settings are um, on his M4 Pro, but this is also running on GPT-TK. So he's running M4 Pro on the latest 2.0 GPTK, and uh, you can go back and pause and see, but they were pretty much the same. But just some value comparison, uh, my M1 Max on the left and the M4 Pros on the right. Now a little bit of gameplay, again, this was recorded 30 FPS, um, but my iPhone is recording 60 FPS and this video is 60 FPS, so um, it gets better in other videos because I record with OBS. Yep, just basically some actual gameplay footage on the M1 Max of 52 frames per second, which I think is pretty good. Um, again, no real patch notes, uh, uh, just a summary, like I've been reading some Reddit threads, people basically saying maybe 10 frames, uh, depending on the game. Um, so I would say the only major thing, probably, you'll see later in the video where Andrew tests this out, is that God of War Ragnarok can run now. Um, so Apple will continue updating GPTK um, and porting some games, um, but that's cyberpunk for you. The next game I test is Spider-Man, and I don't actually think I got too much difference. Again, I don't have an M1 Max versus previous version versus not M1 Max. Um, I only have my M3 Pro videos that I could refer back to. Uh, but basically, even when turning off QuickTime, I got around the same frames per second of around 30. Um, 
I just wanted to see if QuickTime actually has an impact, which it really doesn't. So I have other videos of showcasing how to record screens. You can check those out. It's either QuickTime or OBS. Um, so yeah, I turned on screen recording again. And yeah, kind of this video, rest of it will just kind of talk about um, more state of Mac gaming. Um, so yeah. So yeah, comparing M3 Pro to M1 Max, um, you know, it's always hard to do some of these benchmarks because the games always update differently. You get different versions of the game, different version of GP2K, but at the time I did this recording, actually the M3 Pro is kind of running better than the M1 Max, so um, I went with the refurbished because I got two terabytes SSD and 64 gigabytes of RAM, which was pretty good. I definitely think it's a value proposition you have to consider of getting refurb. Definitely some M1 Maxes or M2 Maxes could um, have more RAM or SSD compared to if you went with M3 Pros or even the M4 Pros. Um, I think until a big leap happens, I would consider refurbished. Now. I showcase here that Marvel Rivals doesn't run on whiskey. I think there's a crossover preview version that you could get. And then also weirdly is that Armored Core doesn't run anymore for me. So another thing in like Mac gaming instances is that, um, I don't know, things just break, things don't work. I honestly, you'll see later in this video, like so I, if you haven't considered a Windows laptop, some of the new chips have really good battery life. Especially if you consider CES 2025 just happened. A lot of new laptops are coming out. I preferably think that either Intel or AMD, you'll have just as good settings. And the Zephyrus line actually looks pretty sleek like the MacBook. If you want to check that out, it's pretty cool. Um, and then they have this like Flow 13, which is really light laptop that has like an integrated AMD chip. Um, so yeah, just a lot of things to consider. If I was in the market for a laptop, um, you know, it seems like my channel is a lot of Apple fans wanting to see Mac gaming, um, but it depends on what your priorities are. If you want to do gaming as the top priority, I think Windows laptops are starting to kind of have the benefits that, from what I understand of reading comments, Reddit threads, stuff like that, um, people have for Macs, which is like good build, good battery life, um, stuff of that nature because um, honestly I, I use both as a daily driver even for like not even gaming I, I haven't gamed much I'm actually expecting my first child and kind of haven't been playing video games too much kind of been prepping nesting whatever you want to call it um, but with that being said you know been working from home I honestly find that on on max uh, some of the productivity I, I don't like that um, when you click on a application all the windows open up it's kind of weird versus windows um there's some other things that could be better um but yeah from my channel perspective um i think that just some of these new laptops you could check them out like zephyrus you, you even get the 2024 version it should have like 13 hour battery life pretty light um if you didn't want a dedicated graphics card that some of the new Meteor Lake or Lunar Lake Intel laptops you could check out. Um, there's one, I think it's like 12,000 and you could get it from Acer or Asus, one of them. Um, so yeah, just a lot of different options you could do. And I'm just putting some commentary over if you guys aren't aware of YouTube algorithms, if you could get to 10 minutes, they kind of promote your channel better. So sorry for listening to me ramble, but it's just how it is. And one thing about also what you're seeing on screen, I haven't played Spider-Man. I haven't finished it. I probably need to. It's, it seems like a pretty good game. I always get confused on these circuit things. It's like, what? I, like literally takes me two minutes to figure out like, wait, what am I supposed to do? Like I didn't notice that these things were blocked and I was getting really confused. So probably one of the things I don't like about this game is these circuit things. Um, but yeah, I just have been playing Dota 2 still a little bit and Marvel Rivals um which I guess from a Mac gaming perspective if I'll link below Andrew's video if you watch that video you'll literally see it takes him like 10 minutes to load Marvel Rivals which is like kind of crazy um first and then you always run the risk of anti-cheat banning you Marvel Rivals was banning some people but then they like reversed it because 
uh, I just think that they're really good developers right now, um, doing the most for their community. So you can technically play on crossovers, but from what I saw, like it takes a long time to load and um, all this other jazz. So um, yeah, I think if you're the market and you're not stuck with Apple, you know, you want a lightweight device that has long battery life, looks cool. Um, just just look at some of these other YouTubers doing reviews on kind of the AMD. I would go AMD Zephyrus G14. Um, probably as the top overall recommendation. Um, but other than that, I think I'm taking a pause really on some YouTube. I might make some M4 Pro videos on my paternity leave. We'll see how it goes. I really just have not been motivated to make YouTube videos um, and do that guy. Maybe I should kind of be re-inspired with a kiddo on the way, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, my last video was probably like eight months ago. So I've been taking a long hiatus, but um, yeah, <laughs> look at me, made it past the 10 minute mark. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for leaving comments. Um, I always do my best to respond to some of the comments. So let me know what I should do with the channel or what I should do with life. Uh, I'll see you guys maybe if I make another video. Who knows? Maybe when the M5 Pro M5 Max comes out next year. Take care.